you asked and apparently you will receive uh maybe i haven't seen bober in a while because i've been sorting by zero to one thousand mmr and bober apparently has gone over one thousand mmr as of course we knew he would so i've been missing out on him maybe next year we need to change bronze league heroes to silver league heroes but here he is we're able to find him because his opponent is just under let's jump into it it's bober against hawkmat and you may remember bober from such great hits as tc level one attack on moonwell and the sequel tc grunt attack on the tree of life that ended the franchise bober is back and I'm assuming still very much a big uh, a big fan of special attacks. This is Bron Bronze League Heroes. In the purple, in the top left, we've got Bober as the orc. And in the bottom right, in pink, very contrasting colors. <laughs> in pink, we've got a human. I'm glad it's not a mirror matchup. It's Hawkmat. It's going to go altar into barracks, into farm. Kind of a forward wall, an open design. Perhaps more open than he would like. This is open by one slot. This is about seven slots. And this is also open, I think. Or maybe this is closed. It's kind of hard to tell. So it's a pretty inviting base layout. If someone sent me an invitation like this, I would definitely come and visit. Let's see if Bober feels likewise. He's gonna go for a Altar Burrow shop with no barracks. I'm thinking this is Blade Master Harass Fast Tech. Could be Farseer as well, as we've seen sometimes in uh, Bronze League. Normally Farseer doesn't use shop. Farseer is used to facilitate a fast tech towards tier 2. But uh, not everyone always plays in a way that I expect at this level. And that's part of it. But Bober is going to be going for a Blade Master. Now, when I used to play Blade Master fast tech now and then against humans, anytime they saw it at tier 1, they always tower rushed. But this is back when tower rushing was a little bit better. I still think it could work though. I don't think a single blade can stop an Archmage with 3-4 footies, defense upgrade, and 4 peasants with militia. Let's see if uh, Hawkmat feels the same. I actually thought tower rushing would be a very newbie friendly strategy. But I never ever see anyone do it. And I'm sure that I could uh, tower rush this type of build as human. I feel like it's an ancient art lost to people. Or perhaps it's harder to execute than expected. Barber makes sure to go out very well outfitted. He is going to delay himself to kill the peasant and stop the farm. Pretty valuable. Does mean he gets late to harass. So if you are a human player that likes to build farms in your opponent's face, you should be giving an opponent a decision. Either you cancel the farm and kill the peasant, or you stop me from doing a big camp. But if you build a farm that's asking to be killed and you take the smallest camp on the map, you've made your opponent correct no matter what he does. A and uh, are you attack. are not ever going to get out ahead. So it's better if you build the farm here to militia creep one of the biggest camps. That way, either you get the free information, they are forced to ignore it, or you get a really big camp. So now Hawkmat didn't make use of that. Bober is going to go get the Claws of Attack, uses the Heal Solve. Let's see how patient he is at waiting with his uh, health bar. Of course, if he attacks now, it is like as if the first turtle attack does 200 damage. Because he will lose his solve. It looks like he can wait no longer. Looks like he can actually wait really, really long. Really long. This is very inefficient. That dude is completely full. <laughs> He really wanted to be back up to full. That's awesome. All right, four burrows. That's so many burrows, dude. I've never tier one teched with four burrows. A player's force is like, obviously, attack. you don't need it for the supply. You don't even have enough peons. You've got 12 peons, and four burrows can table 16. So there's no way whatsoever, there's no reason whatsoever to have this many burrows. Except if you're preparing for the apocalypse. Just like there's no reason to have 150 cans of beans. Again, unless you're preparing for the apocalypse. So I think he's thinking about redundancy and scorched earth tactics. He's afraid that he's going to lose some and he'll still have some more. Attack. So what's Hawkmat? Oh god. Oh god. 
Oh my word, he's still tier one. Wow, really? Why? Why? No, 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 you're gonna get stuck. No! If he, if he closed it off, the blade is dead. Oh, 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 oh. Hold, hold. Militia, call to arms now. Block him. Blade is dead. On the other side. Send the militia on the other side. The footy down. Ah! Yeah. No! <laughs> oh. Oh. It's not easy, I know, it's, uh, it's so challenging. He does get the clarity and the solve cancel, which is 103 gold cancelled. Meanwhile, Bober made a single bestiary. That's all he had time for. I can't believe that Hawkmat was tier 1 all this time, for what? So he's uh, healing out of vision with clarity, he has boots, staff, double claws. Archmage is close to getting level 3. We have Wyvern from a single bestiary and TC second. Blade comes in. Strike. Oh, he got dusted. He's gonna steal two creeps. <laughs> and then he's gonna run away. No, don't be greedy! No, Bober! <laughs> he needed one more footman. Yeah, that's, uh, that's me at buffets. Post age 30. Rip for my smaller stomach. I used to be able to put businesses out of business. Now I'm barely getting money's worth. Bober, too greedy. You bit off more than you could chew. Such a greedy beaver. Now he has a single torrent chieftain and a water elemental. Thank you for the sub, Meeper. Smiley face. Archmage is level 3. Blacksmith is coming. Lumber mill, tower, farm. TC with the double shockwave creeping. I wonder what the idea is to only have a single bestiary. Alright, if he picks up the tome, I think he lives. If he doesn't, he dies. He needs that point three armor. Oh, that was so close. Forces are under Meanwhile, Archmage creeping the smallest camps on the map. Even though he is extremely strong right now. And he knows Blade is dead. If I kill the Blade here with an Archmage 3, you better bet you're behind that I'll be taking an expansion or I'll be rushing Burrows. But he's playing the same as if he wouldn't have killed uh, Blade. He's playing evasive small camp creeping because normally he feels he gets hunted. But you can't get hunted when Blade is dead, so it doesn't fit the scenario. Why go all the way up here, take the oh, green please, camp, and then the here camp. to the orange camp? Because by now, Blade is back. So the order is wrong. It should have been this camp first, and then the small camp, if anything. And I'm also afraid, because he hasn't got infantry to pick anything up. Will he drop something to pick up the item? If Blade was here now, it would have stolen the 240 selling gold item. Slippers of Agility for the Blade. Better kill it. There we go. Interesting he values the Cloak of Shadows. Blade almost came on time here to pick up the Slippers, interestingly. He found him. Archmage is level 3. We've got Rifleman coming. Mountain King. Footmen are here. Alright. Th this is not a situation you have to run from. What Archmage could do, summon Water Elemental. Attack the Wyverns with Water and Archmage. And then use the 6 Footmen to surround the TC. Or even just hit it. Oh, he's, he cancelled his Mountain King. And not summoning Water Elementals. And he just stole mana, even though he's full. Why aren't you summoning Water Elementals? This is what they're made for, to kill Wyverns. Summon and run. No! You have boots. You never need to TP. You just need to have the discipline to summon and then run. And keep running and don't send back in. You literally cannot die when you have boots. And also, Mountain King is better than Naga in this situation. So he... he and the Mountain King was 90% of the way done. Why doesn't he summon any Water Elementals against Wyverns? He was just... Uh, I think he was, he was feeling shocked and overwhelmed. I think he just feels overwhelmed. It's like, oh god, Wyverns, uh, he's clicking my hero and he goes in panic mode. Understandable. 
Oh, he wants the mana to stay at 420, right. So he's just spent so much money, he builds the workshop, doesn't have enough to make flying machine yet. He's getting the rifle ranged upgrades, which is great. Wyverns have an attack upgrade. Still one single bestiary. Good creeping though by Hawkmath. His levels are good. He's got healing potion on Archmage. If he uses it, he should be fine. <laughs> Run! <laughs> no! He's also not moving. He's also not attacking with his army. There's like... It's really cute. Like when the fight begins, it's like... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like the whole army is moving around right but it's not attacking basically it's not as hard as it seems in a way i know that's like easy to say you take your whole army you right click wyvern that's step one and then the second thing you do is you take your hero and you run away that's it and then you win that's so a blade just died oh <laughs> cloak of shadows there's one flying does he have the guts to attack the TC with his Archmage? Or is he literally shitting bricks right now? Oh! Oh! Nice one, this truck wave! <laughs> so cool! He has one of mana steel. He wanted to go kill the Archmage. I can't believe what you're doing, Bo Bober, you crazy beaver. Oh, man. Oh, my God! He stole again! He has no... Oh, no, Bober! Oh my god. Wow, I love it, dude. This guy has no fear. Archmage is level 5, but I'll tell you what. This is the scaredest, scariest Archmage I've ever seen. You're level 5 against, like, level 3 and 2 heroes. The first thing you do every time you run. But it is true. Archmage is very vulnerable. I'm working on something. I'm working on a little sum sum. And I realized... That at level 1, the lowest health among all 24 heroes is Archmage. He does have 3 armor, but that is, a, that is not a lot of health. Will he lose his TC to this Kobold Taskmaster? No. He rehired this from Tavern, so he's creeping. And now coming out with some towers. Again, these towers are not a problem. Uh, this type of army, footman, are rifle, attacked. level 3 water elemental, Archmage Naga can kill towers very easily right very very easily to kill the towers he can also make a mortar team so this should not be a problem for hawkman but there's always the human element there's the confidence of the orc player who is like straight up going for the archmage right bobber feels a lot more daring and hawkman is a lot more scared even in moments where hawkman is stronger but he doesn't know it which is pretty cool because that's why sometimes humans can survive bear encounters. Just because you are acting tough, huh? making yourself big, shouting. I've survived a lot of bears. In fact, I've survived every bear that exists, but by never meeting them, not by shouting and standing on my hind legs and everything. So it, it really depends what your strategy is. You can avoid or you can try that strategy. So what's Bober going to do now? He's going to buy a tiny great hall on 38 population. Now there's one aspect is like, can the towers be taken out? Yes, they can. But the other question is, will this expansion get found? Hawkmat has 1-1 one, one upgrades on rifles. He has heal pots on both heroes. <laughs> he went to buy boots of speed on Naga. He's really, really very afraid that his hero gets focused. So he went to buy boots and heal pot on both hero. Normally, it is extremely unusual to buy secondary boots of speeds. Uh, generally, you go for invulnerability potion more. That way you can stand still and attack. So he sees... I think he sees the tower. And then he turns around. Any mortar? Any rifle? It's mass farms. Are He's attack. making... Oh, of course, of course. A sanctum that fit, makes sorcerers and priest upgrade first before making a single sorceress or priest. Just in case you may need it. I don't think he's even hard committed yet to the idea of going casters. I think he just wants the option. <laughs> Maybe get sword and sword plating upgrade as well in case we go knights later on tier 3. 
Does someone know who's Medusa? Yeah, it's this one. Naga Sea Witch is the Medusa model. Oh my god, this is how I played when I just started Warcraft 3. It is actually a super common thing for noobs all across games. I do the same thing in games. Getting way too many upgrades. I still do it now. Mechabella, turn-based strategy game, Civilization, Warhammer 3. So Archmage is getting attacked by the blade. He moves away and he hides. Nice. Wyvern's absolutely got knuckle dusted here. Yo. Hawkmat. I think he's done it. He finally summoned water elementals and used them. He finally clicked Wyverns instead of running. There's a Tauren coming out with one armor upgrade. Let's see how Tauren does against Naga. Not very good. I don't feel so good, Mr. Bober. He's making another Tauren. This expo is finished. There's a Kodo there with Drumzara. TC comes in with a Shockwave. Right now he's not actually out mining the uh, human player. Alright? Because he's got all his gold peons in the burrows. And it is getting some kills. Honestly, I just try to focus the Naga with uh, the burrows. Everything on the Naga. Alright? That way you can try to get a hero kill. You get enough money to rehire your blade. I'm gonna say it, it's still kind of open. If Bobber stops making wyverns, which were such a bad choice in general, but they somehow worked because of sheer force of will, if he just gets like five torrents, just get five torrents, and then a move, and then lightning orb on the blade master. Of course, the, the altar gets made in the same place. <laughs> Always. The same place. Not here, where you might actually fi successfully finish off your uh, Blade Master <laughs> in the front. It makes sense. It makes sense. This is the best place. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. TC is. Uh, no, you're not going to creep the turtle, right? No. No, 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 no. No, no. So, disabuse yourself of this notion, good Sir Bober. This count, maybe. Maybe he's looking for counter expansions. Why would he buy Invil and not TP? Is he going into the line? Into the worker line? So we do have Sorceresses now with Invis. Pretty nice. Oh, yes, of course. Bober ha hates farms. I thought it was just like a, an anti Moonwell thing. He really hated Moonwells last time we watched. But apparently he hates all manner of food supplying buildings. One more shockwave. Altar dies. There's a lot of towers here. There's a mortar team, but it's melee! Oh, oh. <laughs> the Kodo is trying to eat! <laughs> wow. I mean, that's a tasty snack. Meanwhile, farm's dying. One torrent comes in, but it's gonna get slowed by both Sorks and Naga, and it's the saddest thing you've ever seen. One hit, and back. That's me at the gym. <laughs> he lifted that totem once, and then he was tired and went home. Shockwave, all right. Killed one rifle, second rifle. In bull potion. Pretty good damage. Wish that he waited till his blade to come back. Just use his buildings as buffer. Somehow, the torrents aren't dead yet. Which is very surprising. Bobber, you have a shockwave. Use it. Oh, he wanted to, but he got interrupted. So how much was it worth to kill the farms? Not much. I mean, no new units can be made now, but... A player's forces are under attack. Pretty nice idea by Hawkmat to go for more tires to take down the towers. Oh, water elemental tired of murder. Enough blood has been spilled. Has been uh, spilled this day. Okay, okay, Worm Tong, what are you gonna do? So he's gonna probably heal solve them, but it takes a while. He's gonna have five torrents. I think that's the magical number. 
He needs to get Lightning Orb to kill Water Elementals. A, a second Totem. And then just try to overwhelm with Mass Torrents. Literally, if he hadn't taken that whole fight with TC, just let his expansion die. Don't even repair. Mine as much as you can. Second Totem, one more Burrow. And he just went for Mass Torrents. That's the kind of donk army that can just win. Now, even now, there's still a tiny chance. But it is not big. TC is not being remade. He's somehow prioritizing armor upgrade <coughs> over Torrents, uh, over his Torrent Chieftain. And I can tell you armor upgrade is not more important than Torrent. Why Lightning Orb for Water Elemental? The Purge does uh, summon damage, like 225. Archmage now is level 6. He has Mass Teleportation. He has Lightning Orb. Oh, 150 damage. Anytime you hear pss. It's gonna be level 3.9. No, not quite. Okay, the Naga is right in the middle. He could just focus it. And he is. He'll pot on the blade. That's a great position for Naga if you have mana shield. Oh! <laughs> wow, look, man! Genius! He pretended his Naga was in a bad spot just to tank a lot of damage. And he saved double talisman of evasion. So that every time you miss an attack, you miss it instead. And then invisibility at the final moment. Oh. Remind me never to play a board game against uh, Hawkmat. You will see your moves, anticipate them, and counter them hard. Ah, oh, the Tarrants, they're so sad, they're so slow, they're getting so many hits, so few hits in. Heelpot, hit the Naga, run away. The cool thing is, in theory, Torrents beat cast their rifle. <laughs> but that only works if they're not slowed by 95%. <laughs> Like both the Naga and the Soul. <laughs> 40 damage. Now let's do it another 100 times. It's funny, in Heroes of the Storm, slow does not stack. If you slow someone for 40 and 60%, they're slowed for 60. Period. But in Warcraft 3, it stacks. I don't know exactly how it stacks. I don't know if if a 40 and a 60 together become... Um, well, 60 reduces someone's move speed to 40, and then if you would do a 40, then it would be 0.6 of 40, which would be 24. Maybe their movement speed is 24, therefore the slow is 76%. Maybe 40 and 60 does a 76% slow, if it's mul multiplicative. That would make the most sense. It can't be additive, because then someone would start walking backwards. You do a double big slow and they moonwalk. 40 plus 60 is 100. It could be uh, additive, but with a maximum ceiling. Like, cannot be slowed more than... Uh, someone cannot be slower than 50 movement speed. And their attack speed cannot be slower than... One attack every two days. So yeah, whatever it is, it's definitely slow enough to make Torrents completely garbage. Hokmat set up an expansion and he was power building it, but he ran out of money. Building fraud. Friend. Nine workers go to the job, but money ran out and this may never be finished now. Bober, what are you doing? Oh my god, he has a tiny great hole. Wait. How did he afford this? <laughs> He's gonna mine again. Two towers. Hmm. Let's say if you're Bobber, right? What is your plan here? What exactly would you say it is that you do here? To quote, I believe, Office Space. What exactly would you say it is you do here? How do you kill a hero? that has access to Cloak and Invis, 
you're slowed. You have very little lockdown. <laughs> Kill farms. True. That is true. Did I just uh, turn on the music? I think it was maybe off. It's gonna make a dam. Yes, more towers is what you need. Uh, I don't think towers are gonna do all that great against two two upgraded rifles, level six five heroes with summons, and someone that has access to mortars. I love how Hawkmat is prioritizing repairing his arcane vault, even though his town hall isn't finished yet. He runs out of money power building his expo because he was repairing. No, 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 you're not done yet, Hawkmat. A player's force. Your shop is attack. missing two health. Get back in there and finish the job, bruv. What if his vault dies because of that? It's because... What are you... What, what are we doing here? Okay. Uh, what did Blade get? Uh, what did he find? Health stone? Health stone on Torrent Chieftain. You know what Bobber should do now? Besides actually mining with five peons? Do another tiny Great Hall expansion. Here. And then another one here. Expand everywhere and then start doing zeppelin shenanigans to harass the peasants from below with a zeppelin or just with a blade and Then yeah blade should be with invis in the worker line here and then TC should go here kill farms You do all that while you take another expansion here either slow or tiny great hole. I Could still win this game even though down 30 pop right? against someone oh but, 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 to kill the peasant he just mass teleported on the one hp peasant he could have got away bober you've been had oh the flying machine he didn't realize oh what a what a great play by hokmat mass teleporting right on top of him boom headshot gg that must be a cool game for him that must be very very cool of course, it was Mas Tele on the Peasant, which was the only way to surround the TC. If he did it on the Town Hall, he would have been positioned very differently. And the Peasant had 1 HP, but he, he gambled on the fact that Bober wouldn't click the Peasant, and it worked out. <laughs> we need more towers, Hans. The Flammenwerfer isn't working. Alright, he's actually afraid of it. There's no need to be afraid. There's no need to worry, my lord. The grain has already been distributed amongst the villagers. How many towers in main? Uh, error. How many towers in main? Error. Query not found. Hawkmac could just rescale Blizzard. Yep. True. You can Blizzard from outside of range. Even though Blizzard range is, is not uh, outranging if you center the Blizzard, if you edge the Blizzard on the edge of the tower, then uh, you can not, you don't get hit by one towers at all. Altar in a somewhat exposed location, but sadly there's no way around it. There's no way around. He's gonna have to rebuild Altar here again after Hokmat leaves. You can't build it here. Or here. I think the game is over, but Bobber seems very reluctant at conceding defeat. He must have read that comment. It was a question in my chat 10 minutes ago. Do you think Warcraft 3 players are leaving too early? Bobber agrees. I don't think so. I think people are freaking tryhard. There's people that would stay for 10 hours in a game that could be drawn. It becomes a battle of who has less important other things to do on their PC. I've seen some ridiculous overstays. People leave when they think they've lost. Except Bobber. TC also got rebought from the tavern. Is currently taking a small little break to catch his breath. <laughs> Blade killed all the peasants. <laughs> One more tower, come on. Dude, does he still have a war mail? Yeah, okay, so his hope uh, is that human does this <laughs> with his whole army into the towers. 
And actually, it's not a crazy thought. It might just happen. Though I, I'm not sure if Hawkmat is gonna let this town all die. Warmail is still alive. He should get some final towers. This is not enough towers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He needs three more towers before the Warmail dies. Come on. What did he get? Items? No, you need towers. Oh! Bobber saw it. Instantly ran away. And the Warmail is still alive. Big mistake. <laughs> Big mistake, Hawkmat. The peasants are at the gold mine. But he, he doesn't have the money. Wait, no, no, what are you spending money on? Oh, wait, he still has a town hall. Never mind, I'm just kidding. The town hall never died. I was like, oh my god, you don't have money. But what is he producing? Oh, a mortar team. Okay, so the goal now becomes... He has two mortars. Okay, so the goal for Bobber is to windwalk and attack the mortar team with shockwave and windwalk at the same time and kill it. This is an armored mortar team. You may be thinking, eh, 360 health. But you'd be you'd have another thing coming. Did you know that one point of armor is 6% physical effective health? And that's that scales linearly. Which means 360 times 1.06. Every point of armor is 21.6 health extra. Against physical anyway. So his total health is 446. Blade Master's DPS is 49. So let's say about 400 health. Wait, how much was it? 440. 440 health, 49 DPS. But there's also a critical strike of 15% chance to do triple damage. It happens 15% of the time. 49. Right? Triple damage. So, essentially, every hit he does is. Let's see. 100. Um, hard to calculate this. <laughs> well, let's just watch. <laughs> oh no! Wait, what did he get? Book of the Dead. Wait, why did you shockwave that? That's weird. He wants the whole camp. But your, but your base is dying. Every six attacks, roughly, he'll do triple damage. So essentially, I don't know. This should be really easy. But um, he's gonna need about eight hits on a mortar to kill it with blade. But with shockwave, fewer. So it is a little risky. He needs... Oh, he actually drank the health stone. Oh, he has level five. He's gonna be level five, five. Get the Book of the Dead. Almost level 5-5. Five, five. Book. He could summon Book, send it on the peasants. He will kill the whole peasant line and then bring Blade TC to attack mortar teams. 0.85 times 49 plus 0.15 times 49 times 3. Okay, calculate it. If it's true. Image level 2, Windwalk level 1. Oh, okay. Huh. Bobber just reached tier 2. For what? Wyverns? Totems? He's just gonna ignore this? But you will lose your base. But you have to kill the Martyrs to force him into your towers. To kill the peasant that's being attacked! Kill the peasant! <laughs> He's running from it like it's a leper. I get it, right? Because there's like a lot of damage incoming on the peasant. But if you kill the, the leper, then it comes. Oh, oh, wait. He wants him to mass teleport. Ah. So he didn't attack on purpose. Yeah. Oh, smart. Smart. All right. He's dodging the attack again. He's making two towers in front. These towers should be here and here. Now they get seen and killed too easily. Is he gonna cancel? Yes. Players forces are under attack. Torrent to attack the peasants. Blade TC to come in. Needs to get the mortars. Oh, this is what he's been waiting for. Shockwave on one mortar in the back. Oh, he's just going for the casters. <laughs> 
This is coming for the casters. Holy shit. Invil, where's the shock? Oh, huge shockwave. He killed one mortar. What about the second mortar? This one right here. Okay, the shockwaves could be better. I wish he would spread them better, but honestly, it's it could be worse. He actually has enough money to revive the uh, Torn Chieftain as well. Every mortar died. This... Oh, tornado! That's so cool. Hey, tornado is magic immune piercing. Did you see that? The invulnerable blade was getting slowed. Oh, he interrupted his own tornado. Why? That's so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. He interrupted his own tornado. I think he accidentally controlled his naga and interrupted it. Wow, he's so slow from Frost Arrow and stuff. I just learned today, I didn't know this, that Tornado pierces lesser invulnerability potion. And while the Tauren killed all the peasants here, Hakmat made another base. This is going to be the first time that Bobber would lose. And I know I'm kind of assuming things here. We've never seen him lose. He's been 2-0 so far on my uh, stream, on my channel. Because you're not Kitty Reed Suppery. Blade goes in. Mirror images. Is Hawkmat gonna dispel? Yes. Four gliding on two images. Blade is trying to get the Naga. Dispel again. Blade. Windwalk. There are flying machines. Okay, that's gotta be it, right? Bulber. If you stay now, you're playing with it. Oh, Hawkmat. So sick. We got to see a tornado and moss teleportation. GG, well played. What a Bronze League heroes. Want to see more? Sub to the channel. I'll see you guys next video. Okie dokie. This was an incredibly clever and witty comment. Grubby <laughs> laughed and everyone in chat typed lol. <laughs> Truly a great moment. <laughs>